Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4 of Pokemon Zeta version, Nuzlocke run. In the last episode we added a Roggenrola to the team and uh, we found an unknown uh, after helping out some uh, researcher and a gym leader. In this episode we're going to be taking on the gym leader of um, Superior City and he's going to be a fighting gym leader so uh, definitely going to be relying on Beautifly and... Uh, Bell Sprout for this one, so let's head in there and take him on. So, uh, we are invisible, but um, this uh, guy will explain it to us. Hey there, champ in the making. This is your first gym, isn't it? Well, listen up. The far end of the gym is Devon. Uh, your goal is to make it across the gym and defeat him in battle, but hold on a minute. A minute. It won't be e that easy. You're invisible. Devon is a firm believer that you need to find yourself before you can fight others. Devon won't fight you until you found the four flowers and found yourself again. Best of luck. Alright, so it's not that hard because you do have your Pokemon trailing behind you, but um, each time you exit and enter the gym, you have to pick up the flowers again, so I'll just uh, do it after I take on all the trainers and then heal back up. I guess there are only two trainers, so uh, it's not that many, but... Let's just get into it. Uh, I think Beautify is level 12 or 10, and our uh, Bellsprout is level 12, so I will try to train up James for now. I don't know what's going to do more. I'm just going to go for a tackle. Uh, we don't have any stab moves, but uh, that tackle isn't doing much uh, for Makuhita, so. Uh, and neither is arm thrust, which is good. And a crit only did one damage, so we're going to be just fine. It's kind of nervous. And I am still kind of nervous for the gym leader, but uh, this doesn't seem that bad so far. Next up is going to be Meditite, who um, might pose a little more of a challenge. It probably has confusion. So let's see how much that does. All right. So, for all Metatites, I'm going to have to um, use Bide. For all Metatites, I'm going to have to use James and not Bellsprout. But I'm going to put in Pebble and hope Bide doesn't kill it. I don't know. We'll see if uh, Bide, like I was wondering last episode, would counter uh, kill a... Uh, Rag and roll it with sturdy. So I'm gonna see if Bide does the same thing. Let's see how much this does. Uh, it's gonna do okay, not that much at all. We're gonna be able to take it out with strength. So there we go. But uh, we defeated Samson, I think his name was. So uh, let's just take on the next gym trainer first. Uh, tricky to find the flowers. I don't think it's really that hard. Just know that. Whichever direction your Pokemon is, you're once you're in that space, <laughs> so it's really not that bad. But we are going to go with uh, tackle, and that did almost that did quite a bit, uh, about a third or forty percent, and we're going to be able to take him out, which is good. And hopefully, maybe we'll get another level. No, not even close. Um, but I am going to. I'm going to try Jan Jeanette um, and see how we do with that. I think a Vine Whip should do quite a bit, um, but I'm actually going to go for Stun Spore first, and its attack raise isn't a big deal at all, so it can, I don't think it even has physical moves, and I was expecting the Bide, so eventually we'll hit our Stun Spore, <laughs> and uh, there we go. So, now Metatite is paralyzed, which is good. And now we can go for Vine Whips. It's going to not unleash energy, and we are going to be able to kill it in two hits. So, uh, it doesn't matter that it went for Bide, and it was paralyzed anyway. So, there we go. I'm going to heal up, and I'll be back for the Gym Leader. Alright, here we are at the Gym Leader. Uh, I talked to him by accident, but... Uh, he just says, I refuse to fight an opponent. Oh, so never mind. Cut that. Uh, I did find all the flowers, so I'm all good to go. I stocked up on a few potions, and I think we're all set. Um, I'm actually going to start with, now that I think about it, Jeanette. As long as Meditite doesn't start, then I should be good. 
Hopefully it doesn't. We'll see. Let's go. Greetings, I am Devon. I'm the gym leader of Superior City. I use fighting types to fight my way to success. You don't have a chance. Okay. Well, hopefully he's wrong. Let's see. He's a weird looking sprite, that's for sure. It looks like his head is kind of small, doesn't it? Um, but he's going to start off with Machop, which is good for me. I'm going to Stun Spore. Karate Chop is going to crit, that's fine. It always, pretty much always does. Um, but it did 12 damage, so even with the crit, that's we're in a good situation right now. He's going to focus energy, so he's going to probably almost e always get a crit. Um, Leer kind of scares me. Probably doing like 18 damage now, but if he doesn't potion, all right. He, I don't know if he has healing items. Yeah, and we actually didn't take him out there. I thought we would. He does have healing items. All right. It's good to know. I'm gonna have to switch out since I think we were leered three times. So I don't want to get critted and with low defenses then get taken out. He's gonna keep going for leers, which is interesting. Uh, he's gonna withdraw and send out Metatite. Okay. That's fine by me. Um, Harden is useless against Metatite since it doesn't have physical attack. Metatite, Metatite is useless for Metatite as well. Uh, because unless it has Karate Chop or something that I'm not aware of. Hopefully not. Because I don't want it to set up on me too much. He is at plus two attack. I'm going to go under the assumption that he can't physically attack me. He has a citrus berry, that's bad. Shoot, alright. Well, I am definitely going to have to use some potions. I don't want to get critted, so I'm just going to use one now. On James. This kind of stinks. Um, but he's going to just keep on using confusion. I mean, I could probably stall him out of confusion if I really wanted to. Um... But I'm just going to have to go keep going for potions one at a time, and then healing up. Or, using potions and then uh, attacking. So we will be able to get two attacks off here. Maybe we'll get lucky with some crits. That would be great. He's going to uh, meditate. Uh-oh. Uh, he's going to bide now. That's not good. I'm going to switch out into Rog and Rolla, Pebble because I think it can take a bide and don't really need it as much. So, he bided, I attacked, he stored energy, now he's going to unleash it, and he's definitely faster. So, okay, yeah, he unleashed now, and that did about half. Can confusion kill me? Uh, I'm going to risk it. Alright, he went for Meditite. Medi <laughs> meditate. Jeez, this is confusing me now. Uh, that'll be the title of the episode for sure. But we did gain the level, and I'm definitely switching out from a chop into... He does have a Riola in the end, so I need Jeanette for Stun Spore. I'm gonna switch in James. Isn't this thing at low health? I think so. And he's probably used all his potions. Alright, it's at half health. I'm gonna go for a tackle. Should be able to take it out next turn. Hopefully he doesn't heal again. Alright. Yeah. So, last step's gonna be Riola. Probably be high level. I haven't seen what... Were these Pokemon like level 11 and 12? I'll see it in editing, but... I wasn't really looking. They must have been above 10 at least. Let's see what's up last. Alright, level 15. So, uh, I've almost lost. It's time to turn around. This thing could have Fake Out. Hopefully it doesn't. Alright, used Indoor. So it probably doesn't have Fake Out. Paralyzed it, which is good. Should I go for Flash? Because this thing can counter me. I'm just going to go for Vine Whip. Alright. Huh. Do I risk switching into Rog and Rolla? I mean, what can this thing have? It'll have like a normal type move. Indoor. Counter. 
It might have a fighting type move, I don't know. I'm gonna go for stand attack. Just to scout what this thing has. Alright, it has counter. I'm just gonna keep going for sand attack. And I'm guessing counter can miss, hopefully. If it can't, then I'm screwed. But I'm gonna go for a few sand attacks. And if Pebble gets taken down, then it's not the biggest deal ever. But I really don't have any special moves on... I have Absorb, that's it. And Absorb's not gonna do anything to Riolu. We've used four sand attacks. I know this is a cheap strategy, but I'm not playing competitive. If this was on Battle Spot, like, I understand, like, you guys might be upset, <laughs> but, um, I don't think this is a bad idea in-game in a Nuzlocke with low-level Pokemon. He's gonna be paralyzed. I'm surprised he hasn't gone for anything else, but you can miss counter. Alright, good to know. So it's got a hundred accuracy, most likely. But we're gonna gain to level 13 with our Bell Sprout. And Pebble is going to gain a level as well. Alright. That was an excellent battle. It was. I was kind of nervous there. Huh, you're pretty good. I'm obligated to give you the Discipline Badge. Alrighty. Fair, uh, great. Give it to me, please. <laughs> Alright. There we go. It took us a while. And we obtained Brick Break. Which I doubt any of my Pokemon can learn. I really don't think that Rag and Rolla can... Uh, doesn't really have hands, so there's no way it could. But we're gonna do a little couple events before. We're not gonna leave the city, and I didn't mean to run that way. That's uh, quite a bit of lag right there. But uh, this, I don't know, this episode's probably been going like 20 minutes, or no, 12 minutes. Um, but let's heal up our Pokemon. First off, uh, I think you guys have seen that green guy for the past couple episodes. He's probably been slowly wilting away, but uh, let's buy a couple antidotes, three, it's good, a couple para uh, paralyzed heals, and one super potion. We are very poor, but uh, that's what Nuzlocke's do to you, and uh, yeah, I'm going to save my IV stones, but I know there's another one we can get in that cave, so I'm going to go back to that cave, actually. And I don't feel so good. I need an antidote. Wow, you have one. Can I have one? Wow, I think it feel much better. Alright, we got acid. Alright. Um, so, that's actually kind of useful. Let's uh, teach that um, to our bell sprout because it is a stab move. And it can be very useful. All of my Pokemon can learn it. That's weird. Um, but it is 40. I'm going to get rid of Pound, because now I have two stab moves and I'll probably never need Pound. Um, poison isn't that great in before Fairy-type was invented, but it's still not the worst thing ever, I guess. It might be the worst type, actually, <laughs> thinking about it. But we're going to flash this cave, and we'll get an IV stone, which I think is that one that we just saw uh, right there. I don't know if there are any other items to get. Uh, I might just cut ahead to them if there are, but I'm going to explore the cave a little bit. So now we have two IV stones, so if we get some good Pokemon or later in the game, we might need them for Elite Four and stuff, because, I mean, I'm going to try not to grind unless I really have to. If I, like, see gym trainers Pokemon are way higher leveled than me, uh, then I know the gym leader will be impossible to defeat, so... Uh, that's pretty much that, um, but I'll cut ahead uh, either outside the cave. Oh, uh, there's an item right there, actually. Um, I think that's probably it, but I'll probably cut outside to the cave and then end the episode there, so see you guys in a bit. All right, this item is a dolly. It's a key item, so uh, we'll probably need it for some time later in the game. Alright, so I'm going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we will move that strength boulder and be on our way. Uh, so I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a pretty productive episode. Got our first gym badge. So I'm excited for the rest of the game. Hopefully we can continue our Nuzlocke without losing. So uh, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.